Welcome to Everyday Nursing Knowledge Lectures and today we will learn lumens of central venous catheter. What is the central venous catheter? It is a catheter. Catheter means a flexible tube that is inserted into large vein closer to the heart. It can be inserted through neck, through internal jugular vein, through chest, through subclavian vein, through peripheries which is called pick line. It can be inserted through cephalic or basilic vein. And these catheters are threaded into superior vena cava which is closer to the heart. And if a central venous catheter is inserted through groin, it is inserted through femoral vein to inferior vena cava again closer to the heart. Now what are the lumens of a central venous catheter? The central venous catheter have separate tubes or channels within the catheter. These are called lumens and these lumen exit at different points. So the advantage is that when you give medicine through these lumens, they do not mix together. So you can give multiple medicine at the same time which are incompatible. So if it is a CVC with a triple lumen catheter, these triple lumen catheter exit at three different points. The one lumen exit at the end, the second exit the middle and third behind. So they exit at different points. They vary in length and they have different internal size. A CVC can be more than one lumen. If it is more than one lumen, it is called multi-lumen catheter. If it is two lumen, it usually called double lumen catheter, three lumens, triple lumen catheter, four lumen, quadruple lumen, and it can be even five lumens. So this is a picture of a cross section of a CVC or a pick line. And you can see this picture is a CVC or a pick line with single lumen, only one lumen with double lumen and this is with three lumens. So remember, they exit at three different points. These lumens vary in length and it has different internal size. The most commonly used CVC is a triple lumen catheter and this triple lumen catheter, the lumens are labeled as distal, medial and proximal lumen. Distal lumen in a triple lumen catheter is usually brown in color. Distal means away. So it opens at the tip of the catheter or it opens away from the insertion site. So it opens at the tip or away from the insertion site. So here the reference point is the insertion site. It is usually brown in color and it can be 16 gauge. So always refer the manufacturer guidelines to see the gauge and the color. Now in a triple lumen catheter, the medial lumen is usually blue in color. It opens in the middle. So you can remember M for medial and middle and blue in color. Now the third is proximal lumen, usually white in color in a triple lumen. It is 18 gauge and it opens close to the insertion site. If it is usually a double lumen, it can be distal and proximal. If it is a quadruple lumen, it can be distal, medial 1, medial 2, proximal lumen, etc. Now let's see the medications that can be given through all these lumens. Distal lumen. Distal lumen is used primarily for CVP monitoring since it is closer to the heart. It gives an accurate value. It is also used for blood sampling. It can be used to give blood products or if you want to give high volume fluid within a short period of time, fluid bolus or viscous thick fluids, colloids, lipids, etc. Distal port can be used. It is also used to give medications. Now the second is medial port. Medial port or medial lumen can be used to give TPN. And if it's not, or if it is free, you can use blood products if distal lumen is not available, or it can be used to give IV solution or medication. So you have to remember if you are giving medications, example, inotropes or a TPN through a CVC, it needs a dedicated line. That means you should not mix any other medicine through that lumen. The third is proximal white in color. It can be used for IV solutions, medications, or blood products if other two lumens are not available. So today we learned about lumens of central venous catheter and thanks for watching my video.